Why is he here? I want him to go. Yeah, we've been through this. They're dead because of him, my dad and Chrissy. We were chasing him in the car. He said that lucky, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. You killed them? I'm sorry, Mr. Sugton. This is obviously a very distressing day for her. Maybe this isn't the best time. It's OK. I'm, I'm going. And stay away from Seb. I don't want you anywhere near him. What? Lucky, you look after him now, OK? You have to promise. No. You're a murderer! All right, let's take this outside. Give her one mil of lorazepam, please. Why didn't she remember they're dead? I had to tell her again. Is this going to keep happening? She's going to keep forgetting and go wandering off? As I explained when she first came in, when a patient wakes up from a coma, it takes time to assess any after effects. So what is it? Why has she been like this? I can't give you a definite diagnosis yet, but I'm working on the basis that Rebecca has PTA, post-traumatic amnesia. So while she can recognise you, her more recent memories are erratic. Right, and is that permanent or...? We usually find it's a stage of recovery, a phase that will pass, but it's really too early to tell. So, what, well, it could be weeks, months? Maybe. Well, then she'll be back to normal. There are no guarantees, I'm afraid. Some patients never regain the same brain function that they had before. Well, can't you check? Like, do another scan or something? We'll keep monitoring her. I know this is hard, but it's very much a waiting game. <laughs>